Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and with me today is an absolute lunatic, and you are watching Oakland Tobacconist. A very promising review for you today. Uh, that is one of the few perfectos that we have inside our humidor, and this is produced by a company that is very much a favorite of mine. Known mostly for tobacco supply, instead of actually manufacturing its own blend was Casa Fernandez. They produce some great tobacco out of Nicaragua and experimentation with particular tobacco seeds. Well, as time continued, later it came out with the name of Aganorsa, and Aganorsa became its own brand and produced what we have in front of us today. This is the Lunatic. This is a very interesting cigar. It is a shade-grown Corojo Maduro. This Lunatic is the El Lujito size. It is a four and three quarter by 60 gauge. It is a Perfecto with a fine pigtail on top and rather hefty, hefty cigar. Well packed and uh, normally when I am trying or reviewing a Perfecto that is tapered on the end here, there's normally that warm up time of trying to get that drop perfectly because it's so tapered and you have a smaller opening. So we're gonna see how that goes. Also, I like the flair of the pigtail. It always adds a little bit to it. So in my opinion, it has that flair of tradition that I really enjoy. So we're gonna go ahead and light this up. Uh, we're gonna give it a cut and start with a cold draw. Get first impressions on the cold draw. I'm only gonna snip out a little bit, perhaps a bit more as I continue, but I like to continue to go further down if needed. Sort of a musty earth chocolate with a tingling of pepper lingering. More on the finish side, not really what comes up front. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this toasted and lit up. Okay, so right off the bat though, as far as flavor, this has a lot of spice to it, a lot of like sweet spice. It's really lingering on the nose, even before you hit the retro hail, it has that like basically coming in. Quite a bit of that, like that earthiness with some spice, a hint of sweetness on the back, and almost mingled in there is like this rather neutral creaminess. So what I'm gonna do to see if I can open this up is I'm gonna also kind of kickstart the wrapper here. I like to normally roll it just a little bit, make sure the burn is even. This will also kind of open up the tobacco and get more of a flavor. Once I have this evened out, we're gonna go ahead and try to do a, uh, a second impression. Okay, so smoke output is a little minimal. We'll see if that opens up as well. I'm getting more of that flavor. I really enjoy that sweet spice that I'm getting. Um, but also this like kind of natural soft creaminess that's somewhere in there as well and i want to see if that comes forward as i continue to the next third whether or not it does we will see so that is first impressions of this lunatic we'll continue smoking on it and we'll be back with a second third so here we are in the last third a lot of that sweetness is coming more forward some of that spice is moving back. I'm not gonna say it's pepper. It's not essentially a pepper spice, but there is a spicy tingling amount to it. I'm also getting that cream element. that's kind of working in conjunction together, um, but it's definitely on the stronger side. I'm gonna say media plus full right now as I continue to smoke down. Burn line seems to be holding up. And just as I had discussed in the beginning, that tapered end had that tight draw completely opened up as I continued to smoke it. Um, something I really enjoy about the Lunatic, I love the size, the El Ojito size, that 60 gauge with tapered ends, just feels really comfortable in the hand, and it's also a lengthy cigar. The size of it's almost deceiving, you think this would be a quick smoke, but it's very slow burning. I enjoy also the interpretations that Aganorsa does. They take this Corojo seed, it's unlike any Maduro you're going to find out there, because they take a Corojo seed, they shade grow it under cheesecloth to filter the sun, the strength of the sun through that, and then they ferment it to be a Maduro. So it definitely has a full strength to it and very unique. Most Maduros end in that like espresso, chocolatey, coffee element. A lot of them have that. This is very different. And it's also a welcomed surprise uh, with the different flavors I'm getting. So uh, as we continue to smoke, as I say, it's, it's pretty strong. Burn line remains solid. We're gonna continue to smoke this and we will see on the final third. All right, here on the final third, definitely more sweetness, 
It's becoming more sweet than it is peppery, but there's this oaky note as well, as along with the cream. Definitely full flavored. I'm gonna put this ending in the like full bodied side for sure. You may wanna have like a meal before this. It's not too crazy strong, but it definitely has a punch to it. Definitely packs a punch but rich flavor and pretty consistent. Like as it kind of molded and certain flavors came forward and kind of moved back, you also had this consistency throughout the entire stick that I really enjoyed, especially on something on the smaller side, but lengthwise, as far as smoke duration, very slow, slow burning, which I really enjoy. Um, and sometimes when you have a tapered end with a very large ring gauge, it gets really mushy as you continue to smoke it. That's because the heat is drawing out that moisture, but it's also packing it because you're funneling it, almost bottlenecking it to the bottom. But this is staying pretty firm, which I'm enjoying. It doesn't have that like spongy consistency. Overall, I would say if you were gonna pair this, it can hold up to bourbon, but it can also be delicate enough. I think if you were to go with some kind of single malt or even rum, even to draw that sweetness out further, Drop down in the comments some of the Maduros that you really enjoy and the uniqueness of those Maduros. I'd love to hear your opinions. I would love to hear what you've paired as well. If you've had this cigar, if you've had some of the other Agonorses that go well with bourbon, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you again for smoking with me. As always, I'm Eric, and you have been watching Oakland Tobacconist.